dress is not no. very nice. I am somebody. I just don't choose to center my identity around fortune or fame like you, but instead in what I can do for Jesus. Jesus? Yeah, okay. Whatever. And you're on on five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to the Ryan Beach Press Show. I am Ryan Beach Press, and I'm here with my mystery guest who we have revealed during our last segment. That is before somebody messed up during the technical difficulties. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just trying to vote into this character. I mean... Ryan Beach Press has a very busy life. But enough about me. Let's go back to our star, Apple Bigsby. So, Miss Apple Bigsby, Apple you, have, you have won yes. American Rival in 2011. So, what have you been doing ever since? You know, besides dropping off the face of the earth and becoming a loser. Loser? <laughs> well, thanks, Ryan. What I have been doing is I was had the opportunity to go with my church on two mission trips. One, we went to Haiti, and we made this makeshift hospital, and we were able to help a lot of people. And the other one, we went to El Salvador, and we worked with children in schools. We had such a great time sharing the gospel with them. Cut! Cut! Just, just cut everything! What is it that you're trying to do? Uh, cut? Uh, are, there, are there more technical difficulties? Uh, no, you do know what I mean. You're sitting here trying to be all perfect and make me look bad. I, I'm not trying to make you look bad, and I'm certainly not perfect. In fact, I'm far from perfect. The only person that's perfect is Jesus. Oh, please. Just stop. You know, I think you are trying to make me look bad on this goody two-shoes. You're sitting here trying to be all kind and polite and patient, especially since you're getting a whole earful from me. I promise, Miss Beast Christ, I... I'm not. Listen, I can't take credit for who I am. It's just that, you know, I've grown in this relationship with this God, my God, and this person, Jesus, and he just changes me every day the more I grow close to him. So I'm not perfect, and I'm not trying to be, but the more I get to know him, the more I just grow in the fruit of the Spirit. That's the peace, patience, gentleness, kindness. Those things, that, that's the fruit of the Spirit. Huh. Uh-huh. Well, maybe I should try that. And, you know, maybe you can help me with my career and get more ratings. You know, since people love when people act all, you know, kind and patient and all that other junk. Well, I mean, you could, but Miss Beechcrest, that's that's not quite it. I, I think you're missing the point. The point is that you can't seek the fruit of the spirit. It's not something you can pretend. The more you get to know Jesus, the more you pray and read your Bible and you get to know him, the more it just becomes a part of you and you just are kind and you are patient. You, you can't pretend. You can't act. It's, it just is who you are because you know Jesus or it isn't. It's, it's when you get to spend time with our Savior and you get to know him and you love him so much and it just, you want to imitate him and be like him and that's how Jesus was. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, Apple, I do see something in you, and it's pretty much not your singing, but you do seem a little more fruitful, like you are full of the fruit of the Spirit. And maybe I should learn more about Jesus, too. I mean, I spent all these years driving myself crazy, trying to be something that I'm not, yeah. instead of allowing him to, like, work in me. So... Hey, um, you guys in the back, we're just gonna, like, you know, take a break for right now. We'll come back to this interview another time. I would just like to talk to Apple. That's great. Um, we can talk, and I can share with you my Bible, the fruit of the Spirit, and all about who Jesus is. 